Iron is a very important part of the recording medium. Essentially, what you're doing is magnetizing a tiny little strip of rust. It's, you know, it's ferric oxide. Um, and that can be magnetized and demagnetized uh, to make the zeros and the ones. And um, um, there's this incredibly fine film of, of oxidized iron on all of those tapes and discs and so on that you've got. I'm Joanne Larson. I work at Seagate in a design center. I have two drives here just to illustrate a couple of form factors that we design. This is an example of a two and a half inch drive, as we call it, uh, which would be used, for example, in a notebook computer. A hard disk drive is so named because the heart of the matter is where the data is stored, which is on these disks, and the data is stored magnetically as ones and zeros or as magnetic bits that are, that are oriented north or south. We use ferritic iron uh, in alloys for the magnetic part of the transducer and in the, the layers on the media. It is read or written, as we say, by very small transducers on heads so the disc is spinning under the head and uh, there is an airflow or shear between this air bearing surface and the media surface. This is a very close view of the transducer. When we write, and this is the right pole, the flux is essentially focused through that pole. The corresponding area on the media below it is magnetized very simple in concept uh, and an amazing amount of technology. <laughs> Whether used for its magnetic properties or its strength, iron is an essential mineral. You may think we have moved far beyond the Iron Age, but the fact is we never left it.